Hi guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So you're probably wondering what today's video is going to be. I am upcycling a old chest of drawers that my dad gave me. I'm going to be turning them into a wizarding trunk chest of drawers so it'll be like they're the trunks from Harry Potter which I'm very excited about and it's all going to be themed with like houses and around that but first we have to do the prep of the dresser so there are multiple steps to this and hopefully I should break it down really easily for you so if you have a dresser at home that maybe you'd want to upcycle or do something similar. I'm also gonna leave everything that I bought linked down in the description below so people can go shop for that and if they want, follow this, do it themselves. Right guys, so the first step of renovating or upcycling this dresser is the prep work. So for the prep, we're gonna be taking out the handles and then filling them with just a little bit of wood filler just so it's nice and smooth and then probably taking a very low grit sandpaper just over it to just smooth it out but we don't have to sand the whole dresser even though it is varnished and finished because I bought this fusion paint which goes onto finished surfaces so that will save me a lot of time luckily and then we will be diving into like the design part of it which I'm very excited to show you guys. So let's get on taking these out and filling them. that all the handles are taken off and the holes are filled apart from the top two drawers because we're keeping the handles in the same place so I don't fill them holes but the other ones are drying right next to me here so I thought while they'd be drying we could put the first coat on of the top sides and then the two front drawers so it's called plaster it's from fusion and I talked about this at the beginning, how fusion paint can go onto finished surfaces. Oh, that's a nice colour. I think the brush might be a bit big. Put that there. I am going to use a roller to roll over this just to get all the streak marks out. And I'll probably be putting about two coats on. So I'll go ahead and paint this and then... I will touch back with you once that is done.
now we've got the first coat of the whole dresser done. The top sides and the two top drawers that are all in this colour. I will be leaving this to dry overnight, then coming back tomorrow morning and we shall finish the other four drawers. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, so it's been a couple of days since I painted the first coat of the dresser and the two top drawers. Since then I have gone ahead and painted the second coat as well as the base colours for the house drawers. So the Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff and Slytherin drawer I have gone and painted the base coats on. I will go ahead and show you what colours I used and how many coats I needed to put on them right now. Right, so for the Gryffindor drawer, I chose the colour Cranberry from Fusion. It's a really rich, deep, burgundy red, perfect for Gryffindor. So I went ahead and painted three coats of this on the Gryffindor drawer. It did need three just to make sure it was completely opaque, none of the wood showing through, really smooth finish. It was perfect in the end. Absolutely love how this came out. I then moved on to doing the Ravenclaw drawer. This is the paint Liberty Blue by Fusion. As you can see, it's a really beautiful, deep, navy blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this colour. I only had to do two coats on this because it's so dark to get that opaque finish that I really wanted. It was so easy to do. The paint went on so smoothly. I really, really do like this paint. I then moved on and did the Hufflepuff drawer. I used the coloured mustard by Fusion Paint. This is a really lovely mustard colour. It's a very true mustard. It's not too orange and it's not too yellow either. It's like the perfect in-between. It's gorgeous. However, I did have a bit of problems painting this drawer. The colour was a lot thinner, it seemed, in consistency, so I did have to do three coats on this drawer as well. So just to keep that in mind if you are doing this, that the paint is a lot thinner than the other colours. But however, in the end it turned out absolutely beautifully and I couldn't be happier with it either. I then moved on and did the Slytherin drawer. I used the colour Press Firm by Fusion for this. Now, this is a true forest green, like a true rich emerald colour. It's gorgeous, absolutely love this. I only had to do two coats on this drawer. It didn't take much because it's such a dark, dark green. It's really gorgeous, so it went on so smoothly. As you can see, it literally covers the wood almost with one coat. I only had to do a second coat on this just to get that complete opacity that I really wanted. However, absolutely gorgeous paint. Love this colour so, so much. And I'm really pleased with how all of these colours together look. In the last clip, you saw me paint the base colours for each of the house drawers. I'm now going to show you the designs that I've come up with and how I achieved them on the drawers. For the top two drawers, I decided to go with the Marauders map theme, with stag's heads as the handles, which represent Harry's Patronus and his father's Patronus prongs. I created this by using a stencil that I made out of craft foam and a rocking bit of wood, so I was able to get the motion of somebody walking. I then added on the stag heads handles that I bought from Etsy. I'll link the shop down below if anybody would like to get them. And that is the Marauders map draw complete. I then moved on to the Gryffindor draw. And this is the design that I came up with for that. To create this design, I needed to measure the length of the draw divide it in two and then divide it in two again to find my quarter point. From that quarter point I marked out five centimetres from either side because I wanted a ten centimetre width stripe. 
I then went ahead and used a square to create a straight line that I then put painter's tape on to stop any of the paint bleeding through. For the paint I mixed the mustard by Fusion with a silver metallic colour to create this gold with a slight sheen. I needed to do three coats of this and then once I had done that I removed the tape and revealed a very crisp clean line. And that was all the painting I needed to do for the Gryffindor drawer. I then moved on to the Ravenclaw drawer and this is the design that I came up with. To create this I needed to find the centre point of the width of the drawer which was 6cm. Once I'd found that I decided that I needed to do 6cm from the edge of the drawer to find the next point. Between the centre point and the 6cm point I drew a line to create this triangle and I then repeated that on the other side as well to give me this diamond shaped pattern on the edge. I then went ahead and mixed some of the chocolate colour with the silver metallic to give me this bronze paint that I then needed to do three coats of before I was able to take off the masking tape. Now, as the masking tape was not fully laid down, I did have a little bit of bleeding, but that's all right because I just went in with a very small brush and a little bit of the Liberty Blue paint and just cleaned up the edges really easily. It does happen sometimes and it's very easy to fix normally. And that is the painting complete for the Ravenclaw drawer. I then moved on to the Hufflepuff drawer and this is the design that I came up with. This was a lot more complicated to actually do than I thought it would be because the tape that I had wasn't quite the right size to just put three strips on and leave it at that. That didn't work. So instead what I had to do was measure a centimetre in from the top and a centimetre in from the bottom because that's where I wanted the top and bottom line to finish and start. And then from that line I measured a centimetre down which gave me the mark for where I'd want the grey stripe to be. So I then had to put tape all the way along that line. And then I did the same on the bottom as well of the drawer. So I measured a centimetre up and then put tape all the way along there. Now the gap in the middle isn't quite a centimetre wide. So what I had to do was paint the top and the bottom stripe first. And I needed to do two coats of this as it's a dark colour, didn't need more than that. And then I had to do the middle stripe with having to tape it off again. Once I had completed that, I stripped off all the tape and the drawer was complete. We're now on to our last drawer and our last part of painting, the Slytherin drawer, and this is the design that I decided to go with. I measured the length of the drawer again, which I knew was 70, and then got the 35 mark. Then from that 35 mark, I measured 12 and a half centimetres out because I wanted the whole long stripe to be 25 centimetres and then five of that would be the metallic shade in the centre. So the two on the edge would be the light grey and then in the centre would be the silver metallic colour. So for this I had to find the centre of the drawer, measure 12 and a half out and then measure two and a half either side of the centre mark and that gave me my five centimetre stripe. And then on the other side of that would be the 10 centimetre either side of that. I then placed tape on either side of the 10 centimetre mark and left the five centimetre one because I will be painting that later on. The paint will need to dry on the 10 centimetre stripes first so I'm able to tape that edge to then give me the five centimetre area to paint. So that is what I had to do for the Slytherin drawer and that is all of the painting of this whole dresser and upcycling complete. The last part of this upcycle is to create the line, add the glass and add the handles. 
The way I did this line was measuring three centimeters down from the top of the drawer and then putting a piece of tape along there, measuring two mil and putting another piece of tape along there. This gave me a very thin line that I was going to put the Sharpie in. I then removed the tape and I had that really thin black line that I wanted. I then moved on to putting on the handles. For this I measured the length of the drawer, found the centre and then found the centre of my handle so I could line them up. I then screwed in the handle and then placed on top the little buckles that came with it. Then the last and final part of this is to put on the little clasps that are going to go a quarter of the way in on each side. All I did here was place one half above the black line and one half below, screwed them in and that was the final step to this upcycle. I really hope you really have enjoyed this because I've really enjoyed creating it and I couldn't be happier with the results. Thank you guys so much for watching this upcycle of a plain chest of drawers into a Harry Potter trunk chest of drawers. I'm really pleased with the results and I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked down below for you to go follow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.